Hello again. And here we are on vacation. Came to visit my relatives, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, and they have this gorgeous garden. So I thought this would make a wonderful backdrop for a video. Uh, this one is about sleep analysis. The sleep analysis you get with the Polar Grit X. Sorry, just keep looking at all the garden and I'll show that to you. So uh, while I talk about the Polar Grit X, I'll show you the garden. So one of my favorite things is the color scheme, which I'll be honest, I did not notice at first. So you'll notice as we start through the garden, I'll give you a tour, hang on. The entire thing is quite lovely. So as we walk through, what colors are you noticing? A little bit of red, yes. So from the flowers to the decorations, and then we get into some greens, past some blues, greens again. Love the wind chimes. Home sweet home. Oh. And I love the tall trees. Yet you don't see a lot of mature gardens these days. Now we have some nice purples. And then we're on to greens. And then she's put these nice walking paths so she can take care of the garden. And yes, you will see birds in these houses quite often. So if you're a bird watcher, Yes. Now if they ever decide to sell this house, I will post this. We would love to get the right buyer who can really appreciate this lovely garden. Oh, there's another bird's nest up there. I don't know if my iPhone will do its justice. Uh, I went through and counted the birdhouses a couple of years ago. And at one point, I think they were close to a hundred or so. I think this one's new. I've never noticed a birdhouse in the shape of a bird. I love it. There actually were more decorations and a few more birdhouses, but they were recently sold. But I just love the color scheme. Yes, birdbath is a must. Yes, perpetual car. We also have squirrels in the backyard, which you saw in a squirrel video that I released a couple of weeks ago. Maybe it was a month ago. And this is what I woke up to this morning, this gorgeous garden. So when you can't sleep, you can come out to this wonderful garden. So sleeping with the Polar Watch, what's it like? Well, let's take this off and take a look. So I have the watch set up to where it automatically goes into do not disturb mode from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. the next day. Now, if you wake up early enough, when you're going through these screens on the Polar Grit X, it will ask you if you're already awake, which I find a really cool 
feature. So if I hold down the red button, that will take me to the workout. But if I go back to the normal screens, nightly charge compromised. You just click it once, and there's my ANS charge, my sleep charge, and then I click the bottom button, and it lets me know what's going on. And then I can click on sleep details. Sleep charge, 44, much below usual. So, you know, just like anyone, I'm normal. And it appears I didn't sleep that well. But, you know, that's what happened. So I went to bed at 22.45, woke up at 03.20, 20 day, eight, 28 day average, 4 hours and 35 minutes. But my actual sleep was 6 hours and 49 minutes. Continuity 2.8, long interruptions, 17 minutes. Sleep cycles 4, REM sleep 19%, deep sleep 34%, light sleep 38%, interruptions 10. How did, how did you sleep? So now I can click on that and I can scroll down to very well. Whoops. So I have to scroll down again because I clicked the wrong button. I'm just going to say, I thought I slept okay. And then it saves it. So now let's take a look at the app. So here's the Garmin watch. This is the Garmin VivoActive 4. And I can't view the sleep data on there. So we have to go to the app. Here we go. So Garmin also synchronizes quite quickly. I believe I synchronized it once yesterday, so it shouldn't take too long to give us that information. And again, this is the Darth Vader version. There's the battery battery that I was telling you about. So the lower the body battery gets, that's similar to the whole recharge feedback that Polar gives you as well. Now one thing Polar doesn't do that Garmin does that I've already missed is that uh, Polar doesn't give you that constant connection so it's not going to give you your most, it's not going to give you your live heart rate and live exercise data when you're connected to the watch. It synchronizes and then it's done. But of course you can get that live data from the watch itself on both Garmin and Polar. So it's almost done synchronizing. So I was trying to get back to sleep this morning, so I tried to do a breathing exercise. And... There we go. So here's the sleep data. Ah, you know what? I guess you can't fool Garmin either on sleep. So... One hour and 34 minutes. Two hours and 53 minutes. 57 minutes REM, so quite a bit more REM and only 3 minutes a week. So Polar appears to be much more sensitive about how often you're awake. And then that's all the feedback it gives you. It does give you a movement chart, which is pretty accurate. And then it gives you the pulse OX and the respiration. So I was wrong. I, I thought Garmin would have detected more sleep. Uh, but apparently it didn't. I was awake too long, and yeah. So still pretty cool, and it gives you the seven-day average for your sleep stages as well. So still quite a bit of information. There we go. There's a good night's sleep to compare it to. So that's the sleep data you get from Garmin. And uh, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy the tour of this wonderful garden. Uh, all thanks to my in-laws.
And yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to share about the Polar Grit X smartwatch. And if you have any questions about this smartwatch or if there's something else that you'd like me to review, uh, put those in the comments below and I'll be reviewing more aspects of the smartwatch soon. Uh, I have it for another, let's see, about three more weeks, I think. Uh, unless there's some reason that I decide to keep it or I, I, I'm not familiar with the return policy of uh, Polar quite yet, but I'll find out. Uh, I know they do have 30 days, so I'll at least give you my attention to this device for 30 days. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and that's all I have for today. Thanks again for watching, and yeah, Gadgets Anonymous. I do like gadgets. Uh, often I, I feel like Doc Brown from Back to the Future, because I have this watch on my left wrist, uh, and then I have a Garmin on the right. So yeah, I actually started another YouTube channel called The Man With Two Watches. Uh, it didn't really go anywhere. Uh, I decided that it'd be easier to just do uh, one channel. Well, that's all for today. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you again real soon, probably in about two days. Yeah, two days. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Feel free to share it with your friends, coworkers, peers, family members. And how did you sleep? There's a question. How did you sleep last night? Let me know. Goodbye.